So if you haven't noticed by now, something has definitely been missing this year. If you're kind of wondering why the whole sneaker, fashion, streetwear, music scene has been a little bit dull, well, it's simply Ye took a whole year off. And if there's one single person that can restore and bring back that feeling, is definitely him. So of course, he's been a very busy guy as of lately, photographed all over the world. Of course, there's images popping up every day. This one recently popped up maybe a couple of days ago. He's seen here photographed with some dudes. I'm not really sure what they do, but I believe they have something to do with music. Um, if you guys are into the whole yay lore, there's plenty of information you can find over on Reddit. But as far as a fit check goes, it looks like our guy's real cozy, you know, with the sweatpants on, sleeveless black tee. But as far as the footwear goes, it looks like the Yeezy sock shoe has evolved. Now there's no official name for these joints. We just call them like a prototype, but the Yeezy sock shoe has kind of taken on a life of its own. We've seen it evolve through various phases. First, just being like what appeared to literally be a sock. Then we saw some type of sole develop and now it looks like we have a new form and uh, these joints are already being called the Yeezy sock boot. So joints are going crazy if you ask me personally, but of course I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, but you guys know I'm into these like new interesting type of footwear designs. And of course the inspiration is definitely giving very like Japan type vibes. So I'm digging these, I would definitely rock these. And it seems like over time, the whole look and feel of this Yeezy sock shoe or boot, whatever you want to call it, has definitely kind of grown on people, I would have to say. So the design is very Yeezy it's real minimal stripped back i would say it's less futuristic than what we know from yeezy in the past but yeah he's been rocking with sock shoes for a while now i think the yeezy 350 all the way up to the yeezy 450 but as far as the shape of this model right here i would say it's definitely kind of giving more like knit runner vibes a model which i think yay actually didn't actually feel satisfied with the finished product when they originally dropped. So maybe he's kind of back to the drawing board with that whole concept. But I think these are looking good. They're coming together. And can you just imagine these could be even taken to a whole new level, you know, if they kind of did something more with the soul. Think of something maybe like the 450, just throwing ideas out there. But uh, these sock shoes definitely have big potential and can yay finally pull off his goal of releasing affordable footwear to the masses remember yesterday you guys complained about the retail price of the fear of god drop so can you imagine if yay dropped 20 dollars sock shoes i feel like that would be a complete game changer so as far as rocking these i feel like this is the best look here you know rocking them with the more fitted kind of slim sweatpants but i feel like you could go baggy with these joints as well now we also saw yay recently pop out with what fans are already calling vultures merch so you obviously see the graphic you see the vultures font on here and of course matching you know the single that he just dropped let me know if this song has grown on you guys yet or not but if he decides to drop vulture merch i mean that would go crazy now this also could be vintage but i feel like based off the cut it kind of looks a lot more like some of the sample pieces we've seen him rocking it appears to have that three quarter length sleeve so i would definitely say this is something that a custom piece that he made and if he was to drop merch i feel like that would really go absolutely crazy can you imagine if he just dropped this like on easy.com or something like that i feel like they could easily sell like 10,000 units overnight but i really feel like his whole goal isn't monetary at this time i mean dude did lose the adidas deal but at the end of the day this dude is set for life so i feel like really the whole purpose is like a bigger purpose out there and again he does have what like four or five kids or something and i think his daughter north did an interview where she was saying that she want to take over skims and yeezy so he got to set the foundation and leave something real crazy for his kids to you know build general generational wealth with so i feel like the motivation to come back isn't really to like get more rich but i think it's really to just build the foundation and uh just continue the vision on uh what yeezy was supposed to be so yeezy free so i feel like 2024 is gonna be a huge comeback for yay and we need them back to restore the game you guys see the fashion scene the streetwear the sneaker game is dead right now and not even that 
you know, the whole music scene has been kind of lacking as of lately. So I feel like if Ye comes back, it's gonna restore some order. You guys are tired of the whole Jordan, Nike scene. Uh, we need something fresh, something new, innovative. Some brands have been able to take advantage, you know, of the uh, lack of Yeezy releases, say like New Balance, A6. They've already been doing their thing, but I feel like a lot of that Yeezy base has kind of, you know, shifted over to some other companies. We see Uggs emerging and just a whole bunch of other brands doing their thing as well. And Adidas, they're trying, you know, they're dropping a million different versions of the Samba. And uh, we got Fear of God, which just dropped. I feel like that drop was dope. And did any of y'all catch that Balenciaga runway show? I know it's a controversial topic right now, of course, with the whole scandal and everything. I know that shit is not for everybody, but still to this day, Balenciaga remains as like one of the most trendy fashion powerhouses. So as far as the look goes, a lot of Ye fans would argue that some of Demna's looks were very Yeezy inspired, but I would more so lean into the fact that Ye and Demna still maintain a relationship and I'm sure they bounce back ideas and designs, you know, all the time. And you know, Ye's petty. He likes to be the first one to put that shit out to the world. So I feel like maybe more so that's what's going on. And again, I know this shit is not for everybody, but let me know what you guys thought about the looks. I thought that, you know, the whole collection overall is just kind of okay. It seems like more of just a evolution of what they've been doing over the last couple of years. But I feel like some of these chunkier, exaggerated sneakers are a cool look and uh, it's something interesting, bringing something new to the table but as far as Balenciaga overall I feel like the show was kind of burnt out it was lame how they invited like a whole bunch of celebrities and rappers and all that just to kind of you know bring attention to it and everything but to me it's kind of played out or whatever and we need that new Yeezy man and I think some of you guys just forget how influential Ye is remember when him and Virgil Don C were back rocking retro J's in the early 2000s bringing a lot of hype to that then when he went over to Adidas just Ye rocking a pair of Ultra Boost made them joint sell out and of course we know how successful the Yeezy line was and surprisingly as well in the music scene Ye hasn't dropped any music this year except for uh, Vultures the single I believe and this is his biggest streaming year according to uh, Spotify uh, stream so that's crazy it looks like he He's got a whole new audience with the resurgence of oil on TikTok. So that's wild. Ye is actually having one of his biggest streaming years musically and hasn't really even put out anything. Just the independent, they just threw vultures out there independently. And uh, I guess that joint is still doing numbers independently and uh, all of his back catalog is being discovered by um, millions or billions of new people. So uh, I feel like Ye is poised to have a huge comeback year and uh, especially with new music and everything, I think that'll just add to it all. So uh, I think Yeezy is poised to have a very big comeback in 2024. And I would say it's definitely needed. We need some resurgence, something new to the game to, you know, just bring something back because I think people are getting tired of all of these Nike Jordan releases. We're seeing just new colorways of retro models from the eighties and we need something funky. We need something fun and uh, something to bring a resurgence here to the game. Not only sneakers, fashion, but music, just everything in general. I think 2024 is going to be poised to be a big comeback for Ye and the whole Yeezy movement. So Yeezy free. Let me know what you guys think. Are you rocking with the Yeezy sock shoe? Are you excited for new music from Ye? And uh, would you cop the new merch? Personally, I'm not one to really go crazy for merch like that, but I know everybody out there will be dying to grab this. So drop your feedback down below. Make sure you guys help me out by dropping a thumbs up here on this video. And if you haven't done so, be sure to subscribe, you know, for daily sneaker updates. So we're going to wrap it up right here. I'm JA. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys for the next video. I'm out. Love.